A young man lies dead on the road. Just meters from the body of his father, a taxi driver. These are the latest victims of the bitter taxi violence that has gripped Freyhrond. It all started earlier this week with a codetta led protest against the scarcity of taxi permits. Carter and Codetta, they are fighting over permits, the vans that are being impounded, the vans that are illegal on the road that's being impounded. They have to pay the fines and stuff, but they don't want to do that. They don't have legal permits to drink beer on the road. I don't understand why they're going against the drivers. It's not the driver's fault. We're not stealing the work. Also. I understand they also need their bread and butter, but what they're doing is the wrong way. Even if they shoot a taxi driver, they're not going to get the permit. So it's pointless shooting the driver, getting out of the van. The person that has the permit will still have his permit. We're asking the minister to provide more than 100 operation permits from the take, for the taxi rank in Freyhorn. There is only 10 operation permits, more than 4,000 people that are using taxis each and every morning. But the minister granted only 10 operation permits. What is the policy design capacity of that rank? In, in the Retreat Tax Association, in Retreat there, there is more than even 100 operation permits. In Weinberg, there is more than 100 operation permits. Why not in Franklin Tax Association? Codetta's issues with permits go back a long time. We last year, we write a letter to the minister to say at least to give 40 operation permits and the minister receive our, 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 our demands. Until today, no response. They deny any role in the shootings, but say their protest will continue. The police can shoot and arrest all of us if they want. We are not going anywhere. And instead of, we will make it worse. Is this the second day? Soon our children are going to write final exams. We cannot allow that situation. We will fight, man, if they mean, if they, it means that they must arrest all of us. As the violence continues, some Freyhorn residents are being held hostage. Somali shop owner Mohammed Abdi says taxi drivers told him to keep his shop closed. He was inside that time, the, the time for incident. He just hear people shouting and he see the car was burning in front of him. And he opened the window and he see if the car was standing outside. Some people, they call the, the fire, fire fighters. And the firefighters, they come towards him and they just try to, to, to put the fire off. And he said, I don't know who set the fire on the car, but just I see the, the car was burning and the people is shouting, you understand? Some Freyhorn residents told us when they tried to get on taxis this morning, they were beaten by drivers. Others have not been to work in the past two days. I mean, it's very difficult for us to... To, we don't even know what's the situation there with, the, with these guys. It's a problem, so we'd rather maybe stay and uh, maybe wait for tomorrow and see what's going on. But not all of them are angry about the protest. For the past two days, dozens of Freyhorn residents have been gathering in the area, seemingly in support of Codeta's driver's demands. On Thursday, the crowd turned violent, with some throwing stones at police. After several attempts at negotiation, police resorted to tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse them. Go!